All right, looks like we're alive. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Digital Show. My name is Junior, and I just wanted to take a moment to share with you guys all of the different cool things that's going on in our ever growing digital world. It's a lot of technology that's happening here, uh, and I just want to make sure that we are all aware of them. So, the first thing that we have here off the block is going to be all about MasterCard and how they are bringing uh, cryptocurrency to our everyday uses. <clears throat> the next thing is going to be uh, about Cardano. Cardano is making waves in the cryptocurrency world. Uh, and then we also want to talk about how Eminem and Snoop Dogg went ahead and played a song that features the Board Ape uh, Yacht Club inside of the Metaverse at the VMAs. And then the last thing that I have for you guys here today uh, is going to be all about how iHeartRadio is creating a metaverse inside of Fortnite. Um, today's date is Tuesday, August the 30th, and um, we will get started here after a quick brief break. All right, welcome back, everybody. So, as I mentioned, the first thing that we have on the block here is going to be all about MasterCard. So, MasterCard on August the 4th, 2022, dropped this bomb of a shell on us saying that they are going to launch a prepaid card in Argentina to bridge cryptocurrencies and everyday purchases. Um, this is directly from MasterCard.com. So pretty much this is very true. They're going to be coming out with what they call the Binance card, uh, and it's going to launch in Argentina. I think currently right now is it still in beta mode um, and they are um, over they are at over 90 million MasterCard merchants worldwide uh, and as I mentioned here <clears throat> with a valid national ID to make purchases and pay bills with cryptocurrency including Bitcoin and BNB um, both in store and also online Users can enjoy a seamless transaction in their cryptocurrencies are oh, in which their cryptocurrencies are converted to fiat currency in real time at the point of purchase, as well as up to 8% in crypto cashback on eligible purchases and enjoy zero fees on ATM withdrawals. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've paid fees for ATM withdrawals. So that right there is just simply amazing. Um, and then I had another article here that's a little bit more up to date, not from MasterCard themselves, actually from a uh, website called business to community business to community.com. And the title of this is Binance and MasterCard partner to provide crypto payments at 90 million stores. This was uh, updated on August the 25th, 2022. So, um, again, Real quick, 90 million stores that they are rolling this out to for payment, uh, which is just amazing. I, I, in my opinion, I thought Argentina was small, so to hear that it's rolling out into 90 million stores, it makes me think that Argentina is a whole lot bigger than uh, what I actually thought them to be. Um, and again, this is for everyday purchases. They are calling it the Binance card, and the South American country, Argentina, is going to be the first of its kind. Uh, in the Latin world. So here are the good deets for this Binance card. Again, it's all in beta, but holders will uh, be able to pay bills with them. They will be able to buy groceries with them and they will be able to make payments online uh, easily with various <clears throat> crypto assets, including BTC, BNB, and so on and so forth. Um, again, they can rewards up to 8% in crypto and may be eligible for zero fee withdrawals at the ATMs. Uh, this enables these to enable these payments. Binance will be exchanging the crypto assets held in the cardholder's account for fiat currency in real time at the moment uh, the purchase is settled. So basically what they're saying is that if you hold crypto inside of your quote unquote digital wallet or what they're calling the Binance card, uh, as soon as you swipe your card at a uh, ATM or as soon as you swipe your card at a uh, merchant, Binance will receive that information real quick, take that crypto that you have, convert it over to uh, fiat, which is cash dollar, 
and then from there they are going to send that cash dollar over to the uh, merchant themselves and everything will happen pretty seamlessly um, in my opinion that is amazing this is exactly what the crypto world actually needed in order for it to really go mainstream is a way to uh, bridge that gap between you know those long transaction times and also fees as well uh, and why would Argentina would want to embrace this new little change uh, well because just like everyone else there's high inflation rates um, data from AAA indicates that 5.2 percent of Argentina's population currently own cryptocurrencies uh, and it resulting in an estimated total of 2.4 million people uh, which I mean it's not it sounds like a lot when you say 2.4 million people people but when they say it's only 5.2 percent I mean it's not a lot at all uh, I really hope that that you know kind of picks up here um, and then I'm pretty sure in other countries as well even though you know we might be talking about even in the U.S. Millions of people are using crypto, but how many are not? Like, what is the actual percentage rate? I'm, I'm really curious to know what that is. Um, meanwhile, the country is ranked 10th in terms of crypto adoption, as indicated by uh, Chain Analysis Global. We got some more good information there. Other popular exchanges in Argentina include local bitcoins, local cryptos, Paxful, Buen, Buenbit, and uh, Satoshi Tango. In May of this year, the Central Bank of Argentina prohibited banks from offering crypto trading and other similar services as the institution considered these as assets too risky for users. Um, now, I guess the jokes is on them because <laughs> it's coming anyway. Um, so, yeah, so that one is actually a really good story there uh, to keep up with to see how that beta actually works out in Argentina, because um, I think that's going to be, again, really good long as other countries start doing it, I believe it's going to start funneling, funneling its way over to the U.S. Uh, and other parts of the world as well. And then, you know, again, that's how crypto is going to go mainstream. All right. So the next thing that I have for you guys here today is iHeartRadio. So iHeartRadio, um, they are launching a quote unquote metaverse inside of Fortnite. So Fortnite is already being considered as some sort of a metaverse itself. Um, so iHeartRadio Radio is partnering with them to create iHeartLand. And uh, the first thing that they're going to do is have a concert with yours truly, Mr. Charlie Puth. Uh, he's an amazing musician. And this is all going to be happening September... There it is, September 9th. So the launch will kick off with a special two-part performance by Grammy-nominated singer songwriter and producer Charlie Puth on September 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern time inside of Fortnite uh, at the iHeartLand State Farm Park. Uh, the epic event will be followed by an album release party, again still inside iHeartLand with new music performed for the first time in celebration of Puth's upcoming album, um, which it seems like it's a, uh, a self-titled album, Charlie, which drops October 7th. Cool. So that's actually going to be really big for him. This is uh, this is kind of what it looks like there. All, this is what the illustration looks like. I don't want to say that's what it looks like. Uh, we do have a quick little short video here as far as on their uh, Twitter page, iHeartRadio. Uh, so I'm going to expand that. Uh, for whatever reason, there is no sound. But yeah, this is probably what it looks like actually. It was created by Atlas Created, and they, they did a really good job with that. Exclusive performances. Epic mini games. So you can just do more than just, you know, go to a, a performance. Cool. So, yeah, so uh, you guys let me know what you think about that. Um, I think it's actually going to be actually pretty nice um, to see, you know, iHeartRadio kind of get into the um, into the metaverse world there. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm assuming you would have to have Fortnite in order to access it. Uh, Fortnite is a computer game um, that takes up a lot of like space and energy and stuff like that. Um, so if you don't have Fortnite, you may not be able to get into iHeart, uh, iHeart land. Uh, but assuming, I think Fortnite is on, um, Xbox and PlayStation as well. Um, so 
<laughs> if you don't have Fortnite, sorry, you may not be able to join in, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bunch of people uh, sharing that information on YouTube and other social media channels as well. So uh, you can tune in that way. Um, and speaking of tuning in, and I don't know if anybody tuned in to the VMAs that just occurred this past weekend uh, on Sunday, I believe, but there was a special performance by yours truly, the Board Ape Yacht community. Um, and in my opinion, the video was actually really, really great. And so Snoop Dogg and Eminem got together, made a song, and it basically features um, the Board Ape Yacht Club because uh, they are both holders of the Board Eight Yacht Club NFT project. And um, uh, they went ahead and did a video sh uh, for it. I don't want to say inside the metaverse, but they did like an animated video for it featuring all of their different avatars and stuff like that. Uh, and then they aired it at the um, VMAs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that video here. All right, guys, so I realized after uploading the video to YouTube that I technically am not allowed to do that. Uh, so what I'm doing is just kind of playing a quick snippet of the video by just, you know, way of a still image. And um, so as you can see here, Snoop Dogg has board age 6723. Eminem has board eight ninety fifty five. Uh, and they actually have their board apes inside of what they call the metaverse, uh, but actually in real life at the VMAs playing inside of the video. Uh, so again, you guys can check out the video. The link will be in my description. You guys can definitely go ahead and check out the full length video um, on YouTube for sure. I'll drop the link for it in this actual uh, video for my description. Um, but yeah, so you guys let me know what you think about that. I think it is amazing how they are trying to bring these uh, different NFT projects out mainstream. Um, Board Ape Yacht Club, again, they've been getting a little bit of a bad name because people don't understand fully what an NFT is. Um, but I see nothing wrong with it. And again, this is all just shedding light on this new Web3 world that we are doing. Uh, one thing I was wondering, though, is that who exactly is going to start, you know, kind of getting paid the most in, in, in a lot of this stuff here? Um, I know them being the actual Board Ape Yacht Club holders. Um, they're getting paid for, you know, bringing it up in a music video. But imagine the person actually had to make the animation for that. Like the person who actually make their NFT a 3D avatar and then bring that 3D avatar into a music video and make it do all of those different movements and actions and stuff like that. Probably using some motion capture device or whatever. Um, I, I believe they should get paid a whole, whole lot more money than... Um, they're possibly getting paid uh, because, again, every time that video gets played and stuff like that, um, their work is being shown. They should be compensated for that, not just the you know musician artists who uh, are putting the vocals behind that avatar, uh, but the ones that it's making the avatar actually move and groove and do all that cool stuff as well. Uh, that was a spectacular video, and uh, I'm just hoping that the um, creators are actually being compensated for that. All right, and so for the next thing that we have here today is going to be all about Cardano. So Cardano is now currently the highest ranking cryptocurrency brand, I want to say, in the entire world. Uh, so there is something called the Intimacy Report. And in this Intimacy Report is really just, and I, how did they explain this? Um... I think it was right. All right, so yeah, here it is. So the MBLM brand intimacy study focuses on the largest brands based on emotions and the rankings leverages technological tools like artificial intelligence to assess how consumers bond with the brands that they use and that they love. The research measures intimacy by reviewing intensity archetypes and stages based on a quotient score between zero and a hundred. The higher the score, the more intense the emotional relationship is with a brand. So basically what this is saying is that people are really falling in love with the quote unquote brand, the cryptocurrency Cardano way more than any other cryptocurrency out there. So you hear a lot about Ethereum being, you know, brought up from the ashes pretty much 
um, because of how much they've grown over this the past year. You hear everything about Bitcoin, even though um, it is the first crypto really that came kind of came out. Um, but you don't hear too much about Cardano at all. Uh, I myself have been following Cardano like since I really got started into uh, crypto, that Litecoin, Monero and whatnot. Um, but I haven't actually been following it that close. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I haven't been. Um, you know, it seems like a lot of more people have been following it and a lot more people are really falling in love with it. Uh, I think it's because there's a lot of, you know, ups and downs going on with Ethereum and their um, uh, gas fees and all that stuff. There's a lot of ups and downs with Bitcoin because it skyrockets and dips so high and so low. So people aren't in love with it. But with Cardano, it looks like people are really, truly in love with it. Uh, and as you can see here, I was kind of weirded out too for a little bit because it looks like they're number 26. And I was like, well, why are they the first if they're number 26? But all these other brands are not cryptocurrencies. So only speaking strictly about cryptocurrencies, Cardano is the first one to top that list. And I'm actually going to go over here to that MBLM website and uh, show you guys the, only the top cryptocurrency rankings. Uh, Cardano is number one, Bitcoin number two, Polkadot number three, um, ETH number four, number five is Tether, Uniswap six, Solana seven, Binance eight, Ripple nine. Um, which one is this one? I don't know that logo. I think this 11 is Doge, I think. Oops, I didn't mean to click on it. Oh, well. Um, yeah, 11 is Doge. Dogecoin. I just want to know what this logo is for real quick. Um, USD coin. Okay, USDC. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, so based on all of that, and actually if you guys did not know, this is cryptocurrency's first time even being on this list. Uh, this list has industries... Um, from travel, luxury, appliances, hospitality, beverages, fast food, uh, sports, leagues, and health hygiene. Cryptocurrency beat all of those. They are currently eight on this list out of like 19 or something like that. Um, apparel is higher than it. Consumer goods, gaming, automotive, retail, tech and telecom, and media and entertainment. Those are the ones that are topping the list. Um, the top of the list for media entertainment is like Disney. Uh, Sega for gaming, Tesla, <clears throat> Tesla for automotive, um, and stuff like that. But as you can see here, Cardano is actually beating Kleenex, um, the WWF, Avon, um, Twitter, um, Dyson. This is Disney again here for uh, what is that? Hospitality theme. Oh, yeah, hospitality and theme parks. Okay, uh, Krispy Kreme donuts for fast food. I mean, they are really. And how do you beat Krispy Kreme donuts? Everybody loves those. Um, but they, they, they are beating the actual industry average right now. Um, and you can kind of come through here, check out the archetypes and stages. You can check out the head-to-head uh, -head there as well, how they're ranking up against Bitcoin or whatever, um, and so on and so forth. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, everybody should you know really take a look at all of these different cryptocurrencies not just bitcoin because it's so popular and everybody's trying to get a lamborghini not just ethereum because nfts has you know or yeah i would say nft has made it you know the most popular one out there uh, especially when you're kind of getting into the nft space um, but there are a lot of projects that are out there that have been around a while there are a lot of blue chip ones um, that you should probably look into and stuff like that and uh, in my opinion, you definitely don't want to just jump into any of these projects because a lot of them could be rugged um, at any point in time. But just kind of look into it. I say this all the time. Look into it. Check out the white paper. Check out who's behind it. Check out their Twitter pages. Check out their LinkedIn pages. All that good stuff uh, so that you know that they are, you know, real people who are actually doing real good stuff behind the scenes. Um, and Cardano, it looks like, you know, people are people are loving it. <laughs> People are loving it more than McDonald's, I guess. All right, so that is all I have for you guys here today. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you have any questions, comments at all, please leave it down in the uh, in the comment section for the video. 
All the links to all of this stuff will be inside of the description for this video as well. And if you want to reach out to me on social media, please feel free to do so. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to be kept up to date with what's going on in our digital world. I do this show daily uh, and try to post them every single day. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Thank you.